Today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own music streamer. Let's get to it. Over the course of this YouTube channel, I've explored many different avenues of music streaming devices using the Raspberry Pi. Well, today I am taking it yet another step further. Before we go any further, make sure to smack around the like button and subscribe to the channel so you too can help me grow. If you wanna learn more about my previous builds, one of them will be right up here and the rest are in my Raspberry Pi playlist. However, today we're focusing on the future of music streaming and I'm not just talking about how it sounds. <laughs> I love the whole cyberpunk retro wave vibe. So when I saw this widescreen monitor on Amazon, I was instantly hooked. The cool thing about this screen is that it comes already nestled inside of a nice 3D printed case and has all the adapters to connect your Pi directly to the back of the screen. Now, yes, I do have a new Raspberry Pi 5 but I'm saving that one for a different project. So I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 4B, which for all intents and purposes is perfectly suitable for this project. And I'm going beyond this. Going beyond this is essentially like just overkill. This screen is compatible with Volumio. There we go. With Volumio, which is my operating system of choice when I build my Pi 5 streamers. Let me show you how to build this sucker. First things first, you have to get yourself a reliable micro SD card. I have been using these 32 gig little gems from Silicon Power. They've come very well recommended and they aren't that expensive. Win. Next on the list is something that I have gone through in depth in the past. However, for all you new folk, you are going to want to flash the Volumio software onto your micro SD card. To do this, just go to Volumio's website and download their software for Raspberry Pi. Next, you'll want to format your drive. I use a basic free program that I'll link down below. Next, you'll want to flash the Volumio ISO file onto the SD card to create a boot drive that your Pi can use. Once it's all set, you're going to need to make a slight adjustment to the user config file. Open the user config file and type in these prompts. What this is going to do is have the Pi make sure the screen knows the aspect ratio it needs to be since this screen is a very strange size. Once you finish that, you are ready to shove the micro SD card straight into your Pi and get to building. Turn that some bitch sideways oh. and stick it straight up. You can do it. I used a USB A to B cable from Monolith and GeekPi power supply, both of which are purchased separately. The power supply has to be five volts and four amps for everything to work correctly. Trust me, I used a different one and it well went to hell. Links will be in the description below for those guys. I love the little legs it has in the back. It allows it to sit in a perfect angle to view the screen and interact with the screen. Oh, which reminds me, once you've got things up and running you'll need you'll need to fuck you you'll need to download you'll need to download the touchscreen plugin on volumio you could do this through your phone on the mobile app or on your pc real quick i wanted to show you how this actually works it comes with this really cool uh pen pointer thing you know there's a technical term for this okay one thing i'm finding real quick is that okay it takes a second 
for everything to happen here. Uh, as you can see, I've had a few, but a couple of issues with <laughs> reactivating this freaking thing. Um, really responsive though. Once it's up and running, uh, I can, you know, obviously I can use my finger. It's touchscreen. Uh, the responsiveness of the touchscreen, I say, I would say, I would give it like a like a six out of ten. It's okay. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Um, you can control everything on Volumio here. It's imperative that you do the user config file stuff because I, I, that's kind of where I botched this in the beginning. I didn't do that right. And this thing was all blown out. It was just pixel. It was horrible. So make sure you do the user config file correctly. Uh, it does provide instructions in this thing when you get it, but the instructions are very vague. You could tell it was just translated from, from Chinese. So um, overall, really nice build. Uh, I like the side here has the USB HDMI, a green LED. Over here we have buttons to change. This thing actually has speakers in it. So I didn't realize that and I didn't have it plugged into anything. And I fired up a, a song and it was like blaring, you know, the probably worst sounding speaker sound you'd ever heard. Uh, it does have a menu, a power and a channel. The CH is actually to change uh, inputs. Another thing I screwed up earlier on is I didn't know it was on a different input and I thought it was broken and I was so pissed. But you just change the CH on there and it goes through inputs and stuff like that. Um, that's about it for this. Back to the show. The album art and Volumio in general looks fantastic on this thing. I really like it. I've been tinkering with pies quite a while, and I think I may have nailed it with this one. The sound was great coming through my external deck and into my main system. Here's the thing. When it, when it works, it works. Volumio acts as a room point where you can stream Tidal, Spotify, or Kobuz on the device, which works well for me. Now, the opportunities... I would say for this particular screen, don't call it an eight inch screen when you have a huge black, just not cool border around it. What the fuck? The border is also off center, which I can't unsee. So otherwise it's a nice screen. Looks sharp, the colors are accurate and nice. I would recommend this, you know, project for those who have a little bit of time on their hands and want to have a legitimate music streamer that looks badass. If you have any questions about this build or if you need a parts list, all the extra information will be in the description below. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, you should shake the like button's hand. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I'll see you on the next one, my friends. Take care.